Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, in this video, we are going to texture our uh, water tower asset. So I'm going to create a new document and import our file. And I'm going to set the document resolution to 2K and uh, normal map format to OpenGL and click OK. So this is our water tower asset. Now I'm going to go in my texture set list and uh, rename our uh, materials. So these are our metals. So let's rename it to metal and this one to wood. And uh, I'm going to texture our metal first. So let's go to texture set settings and uh, click on this big match maps. Change the output size to 2K and uh, click on this uh, use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. Turn off ID and uh, thickness. And uh, click on this bake selected texture. So our maps are done. Now let's go to our texture set list and select our metal. Go to layers and delete this empty layer. And for this, I'm going to go in smart material. Scroll down and here you'll see this steel painted worn. Select it and drop it here in the layers. Now open this material and uh, go to this paint and let's change the color of this paint to something like this. And also select all these layers and make sure you changed the projection to tri planner. So we are done with the metal. I'm just going to decrease the metalness of this material. So let's open this again and uh, go to our paint. And in this uh, shiny paint, scroll down and let's increase the roughness a little. Let's keep it 0.15. Now let's use some external wood texture to texture this uh, tower and I'm going to import these maps. I'll drop the links in the description for all these textures. So just select and drop them in this library and uh, define them as texture. And import your resources to either this uh, project or in your library or in this current session. Click import. Now go to texture set list and select this wood. Go to layers, delete this empty layer and take a new fill layer. Now select this uh, diffuse map and drop it in the base color. And this displacement to height. 
normal to normal and uh, this roughness to roughness turn off metallic So this texture looks good. What I'm going to do is rename this and change the projection to tri planner. Increase the scale like this. And I'm going to change it to 10. And uh, select this, add a black mask go to polygon fill and uh, change it to mesh fill and select this cylinder now let's duplicate this layer or what we can do is we can uh, either create a new layer and import these maps again so again this goes to base color this one to roughness this one goes to normal and displacement goes to height so i'm going to try this material for all these wooden parts as well so let's add a black mask and uh, go to polygon fill select this mesh fill and let's select everything and then press x to change it to erase mode and deselect this cylinder so this looks good uh, what we can do is we can uh, change the color of this texture so select this and right click and go to filters and let's search for hsl select this hsl perceptive and uh, change the hue a little increase the saturation and lightness just a little bit so the texture looks good what we can do is um, we can try a different material for this so let's go to our materials and select this wood rough drop it on the top of these other materials and uh, change the projection to tri planner and uh, rotate to 90 so this texture works for this model as well i'm going to hide this and uh, add a black mask go to this polygon fill and uh, select everything and then press x to set it to erase mode and deselect this cylinder go to this material and uh, let's change its color a little something like this change the projection let's try to increase the scale so 10 looks good now let's try to match the color of this texture with this one so let's delete this layer and uh, go back here add a filter and uh, again select hsl perceptive uh, let's increase the saturation a little and uh, decrease the hue and change the mode to regular So this looks fine and let's go to this material again and uh, go to color 
select this picker and uh, let's pick this color to match it with the tower so this looks fine uh, what i'm going to do is um, go to this uh, large rust leaks and uh, drop it here in the layers and change my view to 3d and 2d i'm going to scale this and place it here like this scale it again like this add a black mask and uh, add a uh, paint let's go to brush and select a brush so i'm going to select this basic hard and uh, turn down the spacing all the way to five and uh, paint this material over this cylinder like this now press x and remove this material like this from all the unwanted places So we have added some leaks and we have some of this uh, material on this ladder. So I'm going to increase my brush size and press the X to change it to erase mode and uh, erase this material like this. So now it looks good. Let's go back to this material and uh, change its color. Like this and uh, let's take this uh, wood rough material again and uh, drop it here on the top of this other wood rough again change the projection to triplanar and uh, rotate to 90 scale it to 10 and uh, change the color to something light like this add a black mask and uh, add a generator and select this metal edge wear use tri planner and uh, increase the well level like this increase some contrast keep the well level to 0 0.9 or 0 0.85 Contrast to 0 0.5 And now our travel looks fine So we can export these texture Let's go to file and uh, click on this export textures Select your folder and select the output template to document channel with normal with AO and no alpha select file type to PNG and uh, size to 4K and click on this export 
so our textures are exported and uh, that's it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Thank you.